Hello everyone, it's the Truly Outrageous Doll Collector here, and today we have yet another Goodwill package. So, that's really cool. Um, so I am quite excited for this lot, as you'll obviously know by the title. Um, so anyway, uh, we have our trusty knife here, uh, and we are ready to open these babes and gentlemen. So we're just gonna carefully open all this, and then we're going to put it to the side once we get it more opened. All right, so as you can see, there is an Elsa, the very least, in there. And, oh, what's that down there? Ooh, now that might be a surprise, probably. So, uh, yeah, so here are a decent preview of the dolls. So let's just get right into it. So here we have this uh, newer Elsa from Hasbro. Uh, cheap plastic as per usual. The face is good at least, so that's nice. Uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna push. There we go. Um, she has this interesting little bow uh, clip on in her hair, which is pretty cool. Her hair feels a bit cheap, like probably like poly polypropylene, I guess. Uh, so yeah, uh, she's very cute. And moving on, of course, we have a Hannah Montana doll, and I am in love. Oh, and she still has the thing still attached from her box. <laughs> How interesting. Uh, so it looks like she has a lot of her stuff, which is good. Uh, she's missing her accessories and whatever, but I do have one in box that I'm probably going to debox. And I'm probably going to sell this one uh, just because it'll be more complete. But it's nice to have one with the majority of her accessories. And we're probably going to just take this off later. But anywho, up next... We have this, uh, we have this newer Skipper doll who has very bad legs. <laughs> like they're, her legs are just gone, and I don't know why. Um, but it's very unfortunate because I think she's very cute, and I honestly do like this era of Skipper. Like she seems to have more personality than just being the cute one. Like this one has like. Is like a tomboy and whatnot, and she's honestly very cool, so it is unfortunate that they changed her even more later on, but anywho, I digress. And of course, just get out of the way, we have a My Scene here, a a uh, spring break uh, Barbie. We have what looks like to be like some kind of bracelet here, which does not go to her, but she seems to be in overall good condition. There's a bit of a mark here on her head. And then we have this uh, hairband there, which we're just gonna take off. And yeah, as suspected, she does have cut hair, but we do have one, we do have a spare body we can use because I do have one with decent hair that has a very mangled hand. So this will come in handy. So anywho, up next we have this Mycene Barbie. Uh, yeah, so this is hanging out Barbie, so. I think this is our only one with uh, a regular body, which isn't too much of a problem because, uh, well, I technically prefer the more articulated one anyway, so. But uh, it is unfortunate that her hair is cut, but you know, it's a Mycene doll, so what can you do? Uh, so yeah, she might look pretty good with a bob, we'll see. Moving on, we have a Moana doll. Fun fact, I still have not seen the movie. <laughs> and she does have a hairband in place, so that's really cool. Her hair is quite soft and and uh, very nice condition overall. Definitely not brush quality, or at least it shouldn't be, so. But her, I mean, the top is very nice, at least, but I think it's molded on, which kind of, you know, yeah. But I do like the see-throughness of it. It is pretty neat, but cheap fake-ish materials what it feels like like something you'd put on a fake doll so it's been upsetting that toy companies have gone so low in quality as of late which is a common thing that everyone talks about because it's that much of a problem it's a literal problem 
So I hope they actually get their butts in gear and actually start using good materials again, but anywho, tangent over. Moving next, we have this Mycene Barbie, which is wearing probably a standard vintage-ish Barbie outfit. Uh, probably, I don't know. It's cute, I guess. Um, so this one I don't think has her hair cut, and I, yeah, this one, um, uh, I, this line looks super familiar, but I'm not exactly sure which one she's from. Um, she's not back to school, and she's not spring break, obviously, or first edition, so, uh, I'm gonna have to figure it out, but she does look very familiar, and I believe all of her hair is intact. We do have to take off, uh, this, though. There we go. Okay, so, oh yeah, her hair is definitely still intact, which is good. And it's still in the original hairstyle right there, so that's very neat. Um, but yeah, so if it wasn't obvious, I bought this a lot primarily for the My Scenes. Uh, but the Hannah Montana and whatever you're going to see next is a bonus. Uh, well. <laughs> well, anywho, here is a Madison. Uh, so this one... Uh, again, I know some lines right off the bat, but some of them, I just, I just don't. I'm not sure if these two are part of the same line. Uh, they do have the same makeup overall, which is nice. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so maybe these two were basically the same doll that you just get a variant of, maybe. I don't know, but it's still very nice to have more my scene. All right, this was the other bonus. Um, so here we have, I believe his name's Hunter from the Ever After High line. And I did initially have him, but I ended up selling him because I needed to make money. And I kind of regret it because I really like the boys. And I think this one is in just as complete condition, if not more so than my original one. Uh, but there are the boots and they look very nicely detailed. And yeah, so. I do like him. He's very handsome. I like the body mold. I believe this is what they started using for the uh, 2016 boys, which is very nice. Um, so everything else, I think, is just extra. Yeah, so here we have a Cinder... Did I really just almost call Snow White Cinderella? <laughs> um, so we have a Snow White uh, wearing, I believe, a Merida costume, probably from an older line, but this is... Definitely like a no, an older one because she has the rubber legs and, you know, the decent quality. So, yeah, quality that they should still stick with, but whatever. Uh, next, we have this. This is Cinderella. <laughs> so, this one has a nice body, too. So, it has the clicky joints and whatnot. Her hair, I believe, is probably propylene, though. Um, does feel a bit cheap, but I mean, it's basically being stuck in a bun, so I personally don't mind it that much. I gotta stop bumping my camera over and over again. <laughs> uh, but anywho, so there she is, and yeah, moving on. Next, we have this uh, Snow White. Uh, so I believe this is just uh, this, actually, no, this is a different one. Uh, but she's still very cute, and she's still, you know, again, clicky body. So that is nice. Um, so the, the this part was, is okay. I think this probably would have been a warning sign of their cheapness overall. We're starting to decline in that. But, I mean, overall, she's in good shape, and I think she looks nice. Uh, but, yeah. So I think she had a crown, so I think she's missing that. But overall, and her shoes, obviously, but overall, she's very cute, and I really like her. Next, we have, of course, Prince Philip from uh, the uh, Sleeping Beauty movie. And he's on the, you know, I, I haven't kept up with Disney store dolls recently, uh, but he seems to have the male body, which is very cool. Uh, and he has a rubbed eyebrow. And I think his hair has some rubs too, so yeah, whatever. But yeah, and he has okay articulation for who he is, and yeah. Uh, so the belt is still is attached to it, and he's missing his boots, I believe, but still very nice quality overall. And I guess that's the only way you're able to get 
decent quality dolls for Disney at least is to get at the Disney store. Go figure. All right, let's see, who else is here? Oh yes, so here was one of the last decent, uh, as I keep doing that. Here's one of our, uh, one of the other decent uh, Elsa dolls uh, who still has some okay hair. Like I still think it's probably propylene, unfortunately. Uh, which is one of my least favorite types for obvious reasons, but she's still very cute, and she's still in relatively good shape. And, yeah, the dress quality is nice, and a little satin-esque material. Got her cape that she made for herself during her song. Uh, and she has a nice articulated body. So I think this is the Disney Store one, and maybe, I don't know. Uh... So back to I was saying, uh, so yeah, it's like a satiny kind of material or whatever, and she has great articulation, yada, yada, yada. Um, so the only way to really tell is if we actually look on her back, which, yeah, it just says Disney China. So I believe this one, yeah, I believe this is a Disney store Elsa. So very neat and very cool. <laughs> um, so yeah. Then we have one more to end this haul, and that's a kind of cruddy Anna. <laughs> I mean, the body itself is kind of cruddy. I mean, it's not terrible, but I've seen better. But her face, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a face that only a mother could love. <laughs> um, but, yeah, um, as I keep nudging the handle for this tripod, because, uh, you know, yeah, anywho. So yeah, just not really much to say about her. But I did realize this Elsa still has her shoes. Uh, yeah, look at that. That is so cool. Well, I'm glad to see that she does have her shoes. So that makes her a bit more complete. Kind of wish her hair was a little better, but what are you do, I guess. But anywho, that was pretty much the haul. You can yeet that. And... Uh, <laughs> basically take a look at who we have received today and I think I did a pretty good job with what I scored. I mostly wanted it for Hunter and the Mycenes but all these Disney dolls are an okay plus. I mean I know people who'd love them and I think I have an extra uh, Merida for that outfit that could use it so but yeah, of course, the my scenes have to get to front and center of the line because um, Queen. <laughs> so, and I'm glad to finally have a nice body donor that has, that is in need of a haircut, especially for this one too. But yeah. So anywho, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And to stay tuned for more awesome content. Uh, and until next time, stay outrageous. Bye-bye! <laughs>